everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is extremely hot in here, you guys have no idea, it's, it's annoying. Anyway, point is, it is that time of the month. Yes, it is time for my monthly favorites. And um, I have this, you know, summery look <laughs> going on because um, I was like, okay, I don't want to have my hair up. But then again, I don't want to have it, you know, all down because otherwise I was just going to melt here in front of you. So I was like, okay, let's do like a semi-messy bun. And so I have a bun today. Woo! Anyway. <laughs> One of the things that have been like the big deal um, this month has got to be the legend yes um i actually haha <laughs> random story super extremely funny story which is actually not funny um i actually forgot to say the name of the album which is hilarious but it is called maru maru toni no mia to and um this album has been like the thing for me this month I've been listening to it like crazy and um, you know yesterday I uh, uploaded the um, episode 2 and I am so excited for the next episodes it's going to be a four episode thing right um, and I hope you guys enjoy it for real because this thing is such a gem I can understand if you don't particularly like all songs it is something um, completely understandable uh, but yeah for me um, this has been such a gift and 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 I am also I'm happy that he decided to um, release a CD because um, it was it was truly something I never knew I needed I mean I know that I love for a fact, I know that I love um, Nino playing the piano and singing uh, a nice ballad, but that was pretty much it, right? Um, I didn't expect him to, you know, record new, like, new songs, um, and I never expected that he was going to release a CD in this wonderful time, so I was like, okay. Right. Um, for those who don't know, uh, this CD was released last year, and yes, it has been ages since it was released. But um, this has been my thing this month, and it has kept my sanity <laughs> for real. Cause um, all the songs are rather nice in their own way. I particularly like uh, the. Uh, um, what was it? Mm, what, um, what was the name of it? Ah, Himawari no Yaksoku. That is one of my favorites, right? Himawari no Yaksoku and the um, Roka no Hashiruna. That one is very nice as well. But, Mist, you know, this Mr. That cover he did for Attitude. Oh man, it was it was <laughs> it was the bomb. I loved it for real. I loved it, and and I I believe that if you listen to this album, you're gonna find a song that is going to resonate with you, and that you're gonna love. Honestly, it has a bit of everything, and 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 I appreciate that. So anyway, they ha this has been the thing for me this month, aside from. Uh, the, the regular broadcast aka dramas and anime right I've been watching some new anime but uh, I'm not gonna talk about that right now because you know it is yet to be um, completed so hmm, we have to check that you know next month <laughs> anyway so we're gonna leave this boy to the side thank you Nino you did an amazing job this was so good um, we're gonna leave it to the side and uh, we're gonna talk about 
<sighs> we're gonna talk about dramas. Chum, chum, chum. I have my phone over here. I am supposed to heal my brain cells by having my cell phone over here with all my notes, but sometimes, you know, okay, most of the time, that doesn't work because I always end up forgetting stuff and it's awful, okay? I end up writing things over here and you know how it goes, it's beautiful. Anyway, so we're gonna start. The first one is called Hajikoi. It is basically a romantic comedy, okay? Um, this thing is a hot mess, I'm not gonna lie. Why? Because we have a love triangle, okay? So first things first. Let's go to the main characters, okay? We have Junko Harumi, aka Kyoko Fukada. Then we have Masashi Yakumo, aka Kento Nakayama, who happens to be Junko's cousin, right? Uh, and who happens to be in love with her, okay? Then we have uh, Kyohei Yuri, aka Yuri Yuri, aka Ryose Yokohama, aka her student who also happens to be in love with her. And then we have Kasuma Yamashita, who, who is played by Tomoya Nakamura. Oh, man. Oh, that man is dangerous. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna focus. Okay, so we have Kasuma Yamashita, aka Tomoya Nakamura, aka Yuri Yuri's teacher, and, and, Junko happens to be his first love. Okay, so ain't that great? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she is extremely smart, okay? She's extremely smart. She's single. She's a 31 year old single woman who was extremely smart. Well, is extremely smart. Uh, she was like the model, the role model student. Uh, back in high school however she failed the um, Tokyo University's entry exam and oh boy everything went down the hill for her okay and she pretty much ended up having relationship problems uh, she cannot change her job because she can find a new job um, and uh, well, she lives with her parents, which which ain't that bad, we can understand, but the point is that she lost all motivation and she's just like a bag flying, like a plastic bag flying in the air, you know. She's just going with the flow. And um, she's kind of, if I should say, she kind of feels frustrated with her uh, life situation, if I could call it that way and mind you aside from all that hot mess she, she has going on she's kind of like 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 an old lady okay the story is rather funny it has some episodes that feel like filler episodes uh, but it, it is very entertaining uh, for the most part okay and we do have an age, uh, 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 quite a, a, a big age gap going on in this particular drama. I know many people don't like huge age gaps, uh, but I feel like you should give this one a chance. It's very entertaining, as I said, it's very funny. Um, there are uh, like a bunch of uh, hilarious situations that are going to make you forget that um, these two particular characters, again, the teacher and the student, have a massive age gap. I'm not going to tell you who the heck ends up with Junko. <laughs> you go ahead and watch it yourself. <laughs> um, but um, but it, it is rather lovely and it was done in a very good way, uh, especially because you can tell and it's super obvious that uh, she understands her position as a teacher even though she starts you know feeling those butterflies in her stomach uh, she she tries to behave and as an adult um, and and you know she tries to keep that boundary 
um, so that they can keep that teacher-student relationship and avoid all love situations, <laughs> right? Uh, although it, it's kind of like an epic fail, to be honest. But um, I'm not gonna tell you that much. Anyway, I think that you should give it a, a try. Um, it, it is worth your time, I would say. And one thing that I found extremely hilarious and, and I just <laughs> couldn't get over it was the fact that each time that uh, Masashi had like a funny situation going on in a, a particular scene, they would add this sort of Enrique Iglesias song and it was hilarious, okay? That, that, that thing goes straight to the books, okay? All right, next we have um, Nagi's Long Vacation. This thing is gold, guys, for real. She's like my favorite curly girl ever. Ah! So we have Nagi Oshima, aka Haru Kuroki. Um, okay, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> She's a 20 year old single lady, but she ain't really single in the beginning, okay? I'm gonna explain later on, okay? Okay, let me, let me get there. Let me get there. So she works for a for an electrical product manufacturer, and well, in order to rule the house in that particular workplace, uh, she would wake up in the morning, spend one hour of her life making that beautiful curly hair into straight hair. That that was that was kind of shocking for me. But anyway, so um, I said that she was single, right? But she ain't single really in the beginning so let me talk about it she has a secret and the secret is actually the boyfriend right and this boyfriend aka Shinji Gamon aka Issei um, Issei Takahashi <laughs> I'm sorry um, this dude uh, was talking with um, his co-workers they were talking about her, right? And she happens to hear what Shinji said about her. And this lady got a massive anxiety attack. And from that point on, she decided to reset her life for good. So, boyfriend out of the picture, house out of the picture, everything that she owned, also gone with the wind she just grabbed her bike and moved to the suburbs uh, in Tokyo to this very horrible <laughs> apartment complex she has a very dangerous neighbor aka Gon Arashiro aka Tomoya Nakamura um, he has a, like a, oh god, he has a horrible hairdo, I don't know what happened there, well I know that it's in, it is inspired by the manga, right, but the hair is just horrible, okay, it's a hot mess, I just wanted to do something with it, but that doesn't matter, okay, whatever, let's move on, <laughs> I'm gonna get over it someday. The drama is trying to tell you, you know what, sometimes it is very difficult to be liked by everyone you cannot consider people's feelings all the time in order to do something right um, because Nagi uh, would read the air right <laughs> she would she would think how would this person uh, react to my response so she would think of different possibilities and then she would pick the one that would suit the other person, not her. So for her, it was rather difficult, for example, to say no or to speak her mind. And so you see how Nagi starts to change and how the people around her uh, see that change. They sense that change. And um, I feel like at the beginning, they thought that she was rather stupid um, and as they you know meet her again one way or the other they realize that uh, 
she's she's becoming stronger um right so it was rather interesting i liked it i liked it <laughs> so yeah you, you you should give it a try if if you if you haven't watched it go ahead and and, and give it a go because you are not going to regret it and the ending song by miwa oh, i loved it so anyway that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments about the dramas or any questions let me know in the comments down below i'm gonna be more than happy to read them uh remember to give it a thumbs up if you like the video um and uh remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and remember to check um the third episode of maru maru don't need no me at all and i will see you in the next one bye